The Netherlands is famous for being partly below sea level, but now this once model Eurozone economy is underwater economically. What once was one of the most competitive countries finds itself busting its EU deficit limits and upping on popular austerity measures. It's sitting on some 650 billion euros worth of mortgage loans. No other consumers in Europe are as deeply in debt. Take this mortgage borrower, consoling herself with a little home baking. Her apartment's long been for sale since she developed a serious illness and lost her job. Still falling property values down up to a third from the peak have left her with a huge financial hole. I never expected that in two years' time my uh, asking price would come from more than 200,000 to 179, ending and resulting in an offer now of 153. I just don't understand the government that I let this happen. In this case, I've advised my children already to uh, decline the inheritance totally because otherwise they're stuck with 35,000 euros uh, debt. Property specialists blame over generous government tax breaks and over optimistic lenders. It all encouraged the Dutch to pile into property. Many welcome the correction, but it's one that's left many economic victims in its wake. When you have to pay ten thousands of euros to the bank, um, we don't see a, a solution. So the banks have to write off or they have to make a deal with their clients so they can pay it off. But they are not prepared in all cases to let them to allow them to pay it off. And that's a rather big problem now. Now the Dutch have always had a, shall we say, rather quirky approach to housing. But nobody expected that a property boom and a bust would leave both private individuals and banks sitting on mountains of unexpected new debts. And all this from a country which in the past has been rather quick to criticise others for not living within their means. Nigel Cassidy, BBC News, Rotterdam.